Well, let me tell you, I appreciate the interview. I'm sorry I've talked so much, but I get wound up when I'm talking about Oklahoma. I really do. And uh, it's like when I was president of UCO. I'd say I'm president of UCO. Uh, when Bob Blackburn was head of the Oklahoma History Center, he just recently retired, he had a lot of pens made for me that when I would go to make a high school commencement, mm -hmm. I would say, congratulations on graduating from your high school. Now put an exclamation point behind your life as an adult. And then they would pass out to all the students this metal pen, I mean this pen that's mm -hmm was a big exclamation point, and Bob Blackburn gave it to me. And uh, in a classic example was I did a commencement speech in Clinton, and I basically have, and there, here I go talking again, I made my first commencement speech while I was running for the legislature in 1950, and I've made a, at least one commencement speech every year since then, so I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to speak at Oklahoma Christian University this year. So this will be my 72nd year of making at least one high school commencement. But I've used the theme lately, you know, like I said, I don't write speeches, that you can do it from here. And I mentioned Carl Albert. Just think from Bug Tussle, he became the most powerful man. Just think Bob Kerr, born in a log cabin outside of, in rural Ada, Oklahoma, outside of rural of Ada, became, according to Life magazine, the uncrowned king of the U.S. Senate. He did not become president of it, or, but he became the uncrowned king. And in the article, they said that President John F. Kennedy got what Robert S. Kerr would let him have. And at the same time, the two most powerful men in the United States Congress was from Buck Tussle and a log cabin south of Ada, Oklahoma, both of them, mm -hmm. at the same time. You can do it from here. Well, I was speaking at Clinton, and I thought, wow, Highway 66. I looked out the window, and there was, I uh, was not out the window, I'm sorry. I, I, I looked out, and I said, right there, that's Highway, look at that. That's Highway 66. And it runs from Chicago, and I, I sang the song, if you ever, Travel 66, get your highway, get, get your kicks on Route 66. It goes from all the way from Chicago to L.A. Mm -hmm. Highway 66. And I said, now let me point out to you that there's more, there are more miles of Highway 66 in Oklahoma than any other state in the Union. Mm -hmm. And when I went to Germany on another trip, I was told one time there were hundreds of Western organizations of, of groups that, that dressed up like cowboys and met monthly for a reception, and they dressed up like cowboys. And they would come as a group to the United States and charter a bus, buses from Chicago and go to LA in their cowboy outfits from Germany. Yeah. And, and, and I said, did you go through Miami, Oklahoma? Well, they didn't know. But anyway, so I said, get your kicks on Route 66. And I thought, okay. What's the first town on Route 66 coming in? You're, you're, you're near Commerce. Mickey Mantle became the home, room, home run king after Babe Ruth. Mickey Mantle from Commerce. So you're coming in on Route 66. And you come down through Miami, you come down through Tulsa, you come down to Claremore, mm -hmm. home of Will Rogers. You come through Tulsa, Academy Award winners, Miss America. You, you come through, and I just named towns you go through, get your kicks on 66, and I named basically all the towns and then pull out a name. You know, from Okima, pull out a name that they got their kicks that live, they're from Oklahoma, you can do it from here. Garth Brooks at El Reno, you know, Oklahoma City, just think of all the yeah. people who got their kicks from Oklahoma City and Tulsa and go out to Clinton and Weatherford. And one time I was speaking in Weatherford at night in the football field at a commencement at Southwestern State University. Mm -hmm. 
And I looked up and I said, look at the sun setting. It's setting. I'm speaking to you here at Weatherford, Oklahoma. I'm talking to the high school senior class saying, get your kicks on 60 stick, put an exclamation point behind your life that you can do it from here. You can do it from Weatherford. Look at that sun. Do you see that dot? Do you see that dot? Now, now, I'm serious. You see that dot? That's Colonel Tom Stafford. Excuse me, it was the moon, not the sun. The moon was coming up. I said, do you see that dot in front of the moon? That's Colonel Tom Stafford returning from going around the moon returning to the U.S. who graduated from Weatherford High School. And I'm speaking to the commencement, the seniors trying to say, you can do it from here. And that's my whole speech. Yeah. Forget what I'm going to tell you. Just Let's just sit and watch that dot move for a while. Yeah. And he put in a huge museum mm -hmm. that's there today at, at the airport in Weatherford, Oklahoma. Yeah. And I just pointed out, all, and, and you go to Elk City, and, and you get the songwriter from Elk City that wrote Wichita Line Man. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying that I get carried away. But I went through life trying to promote Oklahoma, so in my commencement speeches, I try to tell seniors at high school and college, or when I speak to a class at, at a university like it, when I was president at UCO, I would try to say, don't be held back. Well, heck, I'm from Oklahoma. What chance do I have? Because I want you to see. Mm -hmm. I want you to see what chance you do have. And then I just go through Reba McIntyre, Carrie Underwood, Wanda Jack. I just go through, uh, and I, I spend another hour giving you names from, from the panel, panhandle. And uh, it's just amazing the international figures that we've had from Oklahoma, from Oklahoma. And so I'm not governor, so I'm not telling you what the laws ought to be or what the legis how the legislature ought to vote. I don't do that much. I, I try not to make too many public opinions about how I think that, because they're the legislator, they're the governor, not me. Mm -hmm. But I do want to tell the seniors that based on all my experience, as a kid in the ninth grade, as Carl Albert in the eighth grade at Bud Tussle, Oklahoma, says, I want to be a congressman. And in the ninth grade, he said, I want to be governor. Okay. That you can do it from here. And that Rich Bond, who sang on the, broad, who sang on the stage at McAllister High School at the assembly program, mm -hmm. was a star on Broadway. How Reba McIntyre, and, and just think you can mention Reba McIntyre from Atoka County, mm -hmm. way down in southeastern Oklahoma. Her dad uh, was a rodeo man. He was a rodeo rider, bronco rider or something. Yeah. And Clem McSpadden, who was president pro tem of the state senate, was a rodeo announcer. And we had the National Finals Rodeo in downtown Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. And he was a friend of Reba's daddy. And he said, have your daughter come up and sing the national anthem from high school or wherever she was in Pittsburgh, Oklahoma, or Kiowa, Oklahoma. Have her, your daughter come up from, from Atoka County and sing the national anthem at the National Finals Rodeo. And there was somebody at the National Finals Rodeo that heard her and said, my gosh. Yeah. And went and signed her up. And she got discovered mm -hmm. as the daughter of a rodeo rider at the National Finals Rodeo just singing the national anthem. And she became a number one musical star in America. Yeah. You can do it from here. It's just amazing. You know, if, I, I tell you, you can edit anything you want to. When I say you can do it from here, what a way to end up. I served with a movie star whose name I can't remember right now. When I was lieutenant governor, he and I, he'd played Will Rogers in a movie. 
and he and I served as co-chairman of the International Birthday Party for Royal Rogers. We were international co-chairmen. We had a big function at Claremore at the Will Rogers Memorial. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you, Will Rogers used to say he was born in Catoosa because people couldn't pronounce Ulaga. But he was from Claremore, basically, historically. Will Rogers from Claremore, Oklahoma. Catoosa, Ulaga, Rogers, Rogers County, named after him. Yeah. Rogers State University, named after him. And I mentioned the Lucky Strike Hit Parade, about big number Oklahoma being the number one song in the world. Will Rogers at the, was number one movie star in the world. Will Rogers from Oklahoma was number one radio commentator in the world. Will Rogers from Oklahoma was the number one star on Broadway. In, from Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Will Rogers from Claremore, Oklahoma was the number one newspaper. He wrote a weekly newspaper column. At the same time, at the same time, this guy from Ulaga, Catoosa, and Claremore, he was number one in the world in four different categories. Mm -hmm. From the, in the world, from Oklahoma. So when you drive down the Rogers Turnpike, when you pass the Will Rogers Memorial in Claremore, when you hear about Will Rogers or anything, the movie, when you hear the name Will Rogers, just stop and think. In the world, from Oklahoma, he put the exclamation point behind his life. 